Hey guys, today we're having a look at the fastest propeller planes in the world. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for your aviation content and it would also really help my channel. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. At number 7 we have the Rare Bear. The Rare Bear is a highly modified Grumman F8F Bearcat that dominated the Renault races for decades. The Bearcat that became Rare Bear was severely damaged in a wreck. It had been abandoned next to a runway in Valpresso, Indiana after a crash over there. The airplane had been stripped apart by hunters. When discovered by Lily Shelton in 1969, Shelton added a way more powerful engine, which made it go 682 km an hour. At number 6 we have the XP-47J. When it came to ground attacks during World War II, there were a few planes to rival the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt. Due to its success as a close air support aircraft, it made perfect sense for the US Army to improve the design. The result of this development was the Republic XP-47J Superbolt. Engineers managed to successfully reduce the weight of the aircraft as well as adding a new supercharged engine. The plane's maximum speed was 816 km an hour. At number 5 we have the XF-84H Donner Screech. The Republic XF-84H Donner Screech developed in 1955 was an attempt to solve a problem by putting a stubby high-speed propeller on a jet. The airplane's nickname result from the fact that the prop tips went supersonic and stayed there as soon as the engine reached operating speed, making the XF-84 H the loudest airplane ever built. This incredibly loud plane maximum speed was 837 km an hour. At number 4 we have Tupelift TU-95 Bear. The Tupelift TU-95 is a large 4 engine turboprop powered strategic bomber and missile platform. It first flew in 1952. The Tu-95 entered service with the Soviet Union in 1956 and expected to serve the Russian Aerospace Forces until at least 2040. A fun fact about this plane is that the Tu-95 is one of the loudest military aircraft, particularly because of the tips of the propeller blades move faster than the speed of sound. The maximum speed of this plane is 925 km an hour. At number 3 is the Lockheed XFV-1. The Lockheed XFV-1 was an experimental aircraft prototype designed to demonstrate that a fighter aircraft could be deployed on a convoy ship to provide them with air cover. It would take off and land from tail sitting position. The US Navy ordered the aircraft in 1951 and two prototypes were built in 1953. The XFV-1 was powered by a 5,332 horsepower turboprop engine. It drove three bladed contra rotating propellers. Its maximum speed was 933 km an hour. At number 2 is the XFY-1. The Convair XFY-1 Pogo is one of the many attempts made after World War II to try a vertical takeoff and landing with a combat aircraft. It was an experiment in vertical takeoff and landing tail sitter. The Pogo had delta wings and three bladed propellers powered by a turboprop engine. It was intended to be a high performance fighter aircraft capable of operating from small warships. The maximum speed of this plane was 983 km an hour. And finally, at number 1 we have the McDonnell XF-88B. The McDonnell XF-88 Voodoo was a long range twin engine jet propeller fighter aircraft. It had swept wings and was originally designed for the United States Air Force, although it never entered production. The prototype of this aircraft was developed in the 1950s. It has a nose-mounted Allison C-38 turboprop engine and two turbojets. Flight testing on this model began in 1953 and continued through 1956. During the test, the plane could fly up to 1,136 km an hour. And that's all for today guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below on what video you would like to see next. Music licensing reimagined.